the mastery glands in the body, the pituitary gland and the hypothalamus, um, the reptilian mind. Um, there's like a, this re reptilian part of the brain, which is the central cortex, that actually um, controls, um, I guess it's also the limbic system, which controls sort of the fight, fight, or uh, fight, flight, or sex. Um, and it's very primitive and it's very central to. Um, also, there's the frontal cortex, the frontal lobe, sorry, and then there's the pituitary gland and there's the hypothalamus. Our brain, uh, and then the, you have our eyes, and then our eyes um, actually go back through the, 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 um, the nerves all the way to the, the, the back of the brain, which is called the, I think it's called the occipital lobe. Uh, occipital lobe or the uh, prefrontal whatever um, basically our brain works like a television set basically it transforms uh, frequencies that we interpret as um, reality so if your if your reality right now is you're sitting at a desk you're um, eating something or you're talking to your friends all that is an illusion it's basically your 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 brain interpreting certain frequencies to your reality so in, in, in matter of fact like everything's just energy and you're transforming that energy into your reality so you could turn the channel you could turn the channel into a different channel and you can see a different reality and our third eye is also um, which is the pituitary gland in our brains um, is also responsible for um, you know seeing that you know through our dreams um, uh, the pituitary gland creates uh, melatonin. It's a hormone that induces sleep. Um, the pituitary gland also creates DMT, dimethyltryptamine, which is uh, responsible for um, hallucinations. Um, and um, it also cascades um, other hormones, such as dopamine, uh, serotonin, um, so forth and so on. Um, but you know I like to talk about our realities which is um, you know our hypothalamus our you know central cortex or frontal lobe etc cetera, etc cetera. I'd like you to look at my other videos um, I'm getting a little bit tired here I might have even made a, quite a few mistakes um, but um, you get the general idea which is our brains are like Fourier transformers in your intelligence set we are accessing different frequencies and if our bodies are injured or hurt it's not that we're we we ourselves are retarded it's just that we are unable to access the frequencies because of a damage in the hardware system our biological chemical structure if it's damaged then we're unable to access these frequencies and that's why pharmaceutical companies food drugs everything are bombarding our chemical biological system so we cannot access the right frequencies right so um, you know I'd like to uh, tell you that I'd like to tell you that um, the food you eat the water you drink, the environment you live in, even if it's an electromagnetic frequency such as, um, you know, um, uh, cell phone towers or um, uh, uh, wires or electricity in your home, which is, um, which is not um, at the same frequency as a Schumann frequency, which is the Earth's frequency of 7.52 um, hertz. Um, it is all to to disband the frequency of the universe of of the unconditional love and that frequency you'll need to, to to access other dimensions and other realities and this is why I encourage people to get out now while you can um, because we are being bombarded not only environmentally through our food our our environment but also through electromagnetic means and um, through other means and so I'd like to encourage people to research this. I encourage people to um, help themselves to unconditional love and to, you know, because if you don't, you'll be trapped in sort of one frequency, one channel. It's like if you listen, it's like if you're listening to the same radio channel for 20 years, when did you get tired? It's, for, it's like if you, all you did was listen to one channel on the television set, channel three, for 20 years straight, you get a little bit tired, right? And right now, I'm afraid that television, all these different means of media are actually there to control people because all the, all the, everything that's coming out of the television is the same thing, any channel, and they don't really have any independent channel that tries to help people. 
also the 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 light patterns the flashing light if you ever turn on television turn out the lights and look at your wall that cre uh, that creates some sort of um, it, it goes into your subconscious and creates some sort of emotion and it's usually kind of fear or or some sort of heightened emotion to make you feel a certain way maybe to buy something or maybe to just keep watching and I want people to kind of notice that as well so there's definitely there's definitely a lot of psychogenic and um, psychotronic warfare and biological warfare going on on our human bodies just so that our human bodies which are kind of like computers and television sets um, to not be able to access different dimensions and different realities which I have been able to access during my near-death experience.